Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I want to talk to you about navigation. It's one of the most common things you'll do when you're building a website is create navigation or links to other pages and external websites. Now in the toolbox, there is a pretty good set of navigation tools, a lot of options for deciding how you want to lay out the way your page links to other things. But the tool I want to show you, while it is a navigation tool, it's not part of this section of the toolbox. It's down in the jQuery bootstrap section because that's what it is. It's a jQuery object, but it's a jQuery menu called the themable menu. And the reason I want to show you how this works is because I think this object is really a great tool and it may end up being your go to object for making navigation because it's very simple, very easy to use, and yet it's versatile. So let's dive into what the themable menu can do. Just like with anything, when I drag one out onto the screen, I get a default one that I can edit and configure any way I want to just by double clicking on it. So I've done that. I've double clicked on the themable menu and you can see, of course, I can edit what the menu items look like. It's capable of a hierarchy. That means it's not just a one level menu. You can have items and sub items and sub sub items and so on. You can also orient it either vertically or horizontally down here so that the layout is more like this. There's also several other options, but let me talk to you about some of the things that are unique to the themable menu. First of all, there's a tab here called options because this menu is kind of three menus in one. Right now we're using it in its default state, just a jQuery user interface. We could also though change this to a context menu. I'll show you in a second. And more importantly, and my favorite, the bootstrap menu, which we'll talk about in a second. But just as the default menu, what you can do with the jQuery themable menu is style it according to the jQuery theme that's assigned to this page. Remember when you're using jQuery objects, your page has a theme. You can change that theme, but when you use the jQuery theme, all of the jQuery objects on your page share the same layout. Right now it's set to true. So that's why it looks the way that it does because it's picking up the page theme, but I don't have to live with that. I can actually say false. I don't want to use the theme and I can design this menu to look any way I want down to the colors of the text and the padding and the borders and all those good things, whatever you want to do. But again, right now we're just using the page theme. Also, this menu can be responsive, which means we can create a breakpoint, the point at which we want the menu to switch to a different mode so that it's responsive on a mobile device. And we'll talk about that when we get there too. So anyway, that's a quick overview of the themable menu. Now let's break it down a little bit. I'm going to cancel out of here and I'm going to delete this one because I've already created one off camera here. I'm going to drag it in and it looks like this. So this is what I decided I wanted my jQuery menu to look like. Again, I'll double click on it and you can see I didn't use any hierarchy. I want a simple menu. The options again, we're just using the jQuery and I've decided to use the theme. So now that I have this simple menu, let's see what it does. When we click F5, you can see it's just a very simple menu. It doesn't really do anything special. It's just a simple menu, but it looks good. That's in its very basic state. Let's take it now to the next level. Here's another thing this menu can do. I'm going to double click on it and change the option to something called a context menu. What's a context menu? Well, a context menu is a menu that appears whenever you right click. We've got context menus actually built into the software so that when you're designing, you can use context menu. Here's an example of a context menu. If I right click on the canvas, it brings up this menu. That's what context menus are. We can actually make one of those for your website. So since I turned this into a context menu, you can do the same. So let's F5 and see what happens if we were to use a context menu on our website. You'll notice there is no menu. It's because we need to right click. And when we do, that's where the menu will appear. Right click again, it goes away. If the user was to right click lower on the screen, that's where the menu would appear. So you can make a context menu with this tool, which is kind of nice. And of course you can make the layout look any way you want. It could be vertical or horizontal, different colors, etc. That's the second thing that this themable menu is capable of doing. But I want to show you something that you're probably going to use more often. It's kind of becoming my favorite navigation tool because of this next setting. And that is if we change it to what's called a bootstrap menu. Now bootstrap is a design platform or library set of tools, if you will, that allow you to make your website look very good, very interactive and responsive in a really good way. 
So by changing this to a bootstrap menu, we now have the ability to use this responsive design option. What that means is I'm telling the software that when my bootstrap menu is on a page that's 480 pixels wide, which would be, you know, a mobile device, I want it to become a mobile friendly menu. So here's what that looks like. Since we've set this to 480 and since we're using a bootstrap mode, watch what happens now. I'm going to click F5. And here is the advantage of a bootstrap menu. When I change the browser size to 480, I'm going to drag it down here. You can see that I got what's called that hamburger menu, right? This is the 480, which means if I was on a mobile device, this menu would become mobile friendly where we get this style of menu. Now, remember it's set to 480 because I told it to do it at 480, but I can change that if I want to, if I want it to go lower or if I want it to be wider. So let's try that. If I was to click on this, go to the responsive web design setting, and let's change this to something bigger. Let's say we want it to switch to the bootstrap when we get to say 700, something like on an iPad. So right now it's for a larger device, but if I lower or if I narrow the browser down to 700, as soon as we get to 700, we get that bootstrap style, what they call a hamburger menu. So really easy to do. You could use this menu whether you're doing free form responsive design. In other words, if you're using breakpoints and page variations, if you're using that style of responsive design, this is a great, great menu to use. Or if you're using grid based responsive design. In other words, if you're laying out your page with layout grids and flex containers, this also works really great. And I'm going to show you, I made another one here off camera. Now this one has a little bit different styling, but let me show you what's inside. So again, I'm using the bootstrap. I'm not using the jQuery theme this time. What I did was to turn that off and I changed my layout. I set my own configuration because I want this to match a website that I'm building. So I did this on a web page. I've set the responsive design width to 480. Now, let me show you where I'm using this. I'm gonna switch pages because I've got one over here already. Here's a page that I'm building, only I'm using layout grids instead of using page variations and breakpoints, I'm using layout grids. And this object at the top of the page, actually this object right here is a layout grid. It's a two cell layout grid. I've got a wide cell and a narrow cell. And inside my wide cell, my nine X cell, I've placed my themable menu. Now let's look at the menu settings. I'm going to double click on that. And you can see it's the one I just had. It's a bootstrap menu. I've designed it to look like this and it breaks at 480. Let's F5 this page and watch what happens. So here I am inside the website and you'll notice that the menu's just fine until I get down to, oh, now wait a minute, something happened. See, I'm not to 480 yet, but what's going on here? Well, this is what I want to show you about using layout grids and this style of responsive design. This is one of the greatest things about the themable menu. Because I've put it in a layout grid, the software is smart enough to know that this is going to need to wrap. We haven't gotten down to our 480 yet, so we can't switch to the hamburger, but we still are going to need to make room if this gets too small. So as the page narrows, you'll notice that it is wrapping and that's because my themable menu is inside a layout grid. And so it knows to make room and here it is stacking up. Now it also knows when it gets to 480, it's going to switch to that. So here I have the advantage of two things. Not only can I decide where my hamburger menu appears or when it appears, depending on how you look at it. And in my case, I wanted it to be at 480, but also because it's inside a layout grid, it's also got the advantage of wrapping like that. Now, if I don't want that wrapping to occur, if I don't like the way that looks, all I would do is increase the size of that breakpoint. So let's double click on it and let's say, you know, I don't want it to wait until it gets all the way down to something that small. Let's, let's do it maybe at sort of iPad level. That's about how wide an iPad is. Now we're going to F5 and we're going to see that the menu looks fine until we get to, and here it's breaking because we're not at 700 yet here. It's wrapping, but now we got to 700. And so it went to the hamburger menu at 700. And if I didn't want that wrap to occur again, I would just increase the size of the breakpoint. Let's do that. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to about 800. Click OK. And now you can see what's happening. So here's our full width. And as we go down and we get to 800, boom, 
there's our hamburger. And we get a vertical mobile friendly menu. This is only possible because we're using the themable menu and we have put it on bootstrap mode. So it's important for you to know that if we had changed this menu to a different option, if we were using the jQuery style, we would not get those options. So I'll show you what happens. If we left this at jQuery and I click F5, while I still get the wrapping because this object is in fact inside a flexible grid, I'm not going to get that hamburger menu because that's a bootstrap feature. See, I don't get that vertical menu. I'm only getting the wrapping. So if you want the wrapping, that's fine. But if you want the um, cool looking mobile device vertical menu, you need to change this and opt for Bootstrap. So that's pretty much it. And this is just a great tool. You're going to find that this is a common tool to use, especially if you're designing with layout grids and flex uh, containers. But you don't have to. If you're using standard free form, we call it, responsive design, you can use the themable grid for that too. It's just one of the many tools that I like, one of my favorite tools when it comes to navigation when I'm building websites in 90 Second Website Builder.